guys, so I'm just going to do a short, quick, concise little video. Um, so, as a lot of you know, I'm just finishing up working on my full built Forester. Tons of crazy stuff. So, if you haven't seen it already, like I always say, go and check out the playlist, the Carrot Build 2.0. It should actually be 2.5 because it's a two and a half litre, but 2.0 is in revision 2.0. Uh, but anyway, while I'm on this, I'm just doing the turbo and the wastegate and stuff. So what I want to do is, when I bought this gate, I couldn't remember what spring was in it. And the paint isn't the best on it, so I can't really tell from the paint. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to set up a really quick and cheap and simple um, tester so you can actually see what the cracking or the, the spring pressure is for your wastegate. So all you need is, you know, you can get a you know, cheap 5, 10, 15, whatever. They're super cheap. Just an air compressor regulator. So obviously the input, you put the fitting that you use for your air compressor. In this case, it's a Nitto to quarter inch BSP, which most um, regulators are. And then I've actually used a JMAC style. For those of you who don't know what that is, that is a JMAC style. So that fits a three or four mil silicon hose perfectly on it also quarter inch BSP okay so obviously you're gonna want to put your silicon hose on here attach it to your side port of the wastegate yada 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 so hoping you guys can see in there I might have to get a light anyway you can connect your shop air make sure to wind your Regulator right out. Connect the shop air like so. Okay guys, so as you can see, you probably can't see the gauge too well. I'll just read out what the measurement is, but it's all hooked up. You can see the little plunger in here. So obviously when you get to your boost level, that opens and diverts exhaust pressure around the turbo. So I'll wind some pressure into this. And it's starting to crack now at, geez, it's like five pounds. So it's pretty much fully open at, say, 15 pounds. Yeah, so it starts at five. So what I'm gonna do is I've got another couple of springs. I'm gonna try them out, see how that goes. Same principle. Um, I won't bore you with that. But, you know, in a nutshell, that is how you can chest, chest, check your wastegate um, spring pressure quite easily. All right, so it might have been showing that it was cracking at five pound, but there's one thing to remember. If you're running purely off the wastegate spring, yes, that will be what happens because it's purely mechanical. Whereas if you're running a boost controller, in particularly a electronic boost controller. Remember, you're gonna be having boost going to the top of the wastegate, which pushes on the opposite direction. So, um, you can basically, it's pretty safe to say that this spring is between you know, 12 to 15 pounds or so. So, normally with an electronic boost controller, you can go double, if not a little bit more than double, the spring pressure because you're putting that boost pressure on top of the plunger and holding it shut. So, yes, if you're running purely wastegate spring, it will start to crack like that, um, which isn't ideal. If that's a 15 pound spring and it starts to crack at, you know, five pound, that's pretty shitty. Um, but when you're running an electronic boost controller, it will be keeping that shut until the very last minute. That's basically what the, the gain control is on the electronic boost controller. So it basically says how long to hold that boost on top of the port until you want to hit full boost and then it will let it all off and then the gate will open. So that gives a, a more hard hitting kind of feeling. I do like that in my cars, if the car's built for it, obviously. So, oh, that probably shook the whole camera. Sorry. So just a quick um, change from what you just saw. I ran that test another couple of times and it looks like it's more like a 10 pound spring, uh, which is even more unideal. So I figured I may as well show you quickly the inside of a wastegate while I'm here. So as you can see, that's the spring. You've got the top lid that kind of acts upon it. 
Um, so that is pushing against the diaphragm. So, essentially, when that opens up, hopefully you can see that. So this diaphragm is obviously sandwiched down by the lid. Um, yeah. So that's the plunger. There's normally a fire ring in there. So whenever you're installing a wastegate like this, make sure that the fire ring is in there. Otherwise you'll have an exhaust leak and you'll be scratching your head what the fuck's going on. But it'll be that. So what I'm going to do is I've got this spring and then this spring in the guts and we'll see what that makes us. Anyway guys, hopefully that helps some of you out there. Um, basic stuff, but you know, I needed to check it before I put this in the car for good, so that's that.